Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October 7th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have Major Arcana Judgment in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Swords upright. Next, we have Major Arcana the Strength card upright, followed then by the King of Cups. And lastly, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. So what's going on for you, Aquarius? All of your cards are in the upright position. Your overall energy is Judgment in the upright, which points to a couple it could be a couple of different things for some of you the judgment card can represent a resurrection of something we thought was done and dusted could be coming back up on on our plate again <laughs> perhaps for some of you this could be a relationship that you thought was done and dusted from the past it could be a place where you worked at it could be a group of friends it could be representing anything that was rooted in the past that we had something to do with it was part of our journey part of our experience it could be coming back up again and there's a need to make a judgment call on it so for some of you, maybe it's, you know, the job you worked at before, the company you worked for before is now hiring. Maybe they're contacting you or you could just be finding out about it. There's a need to make a judgment call. There could be somebody from your past, your immediate past or your long time past that is coming back around again. Now, just because someone comes around, I say this all the time, we have free will. doesn't mean you have to accept them back with open arms. It's up to you to make the judgment call. Um, for others of you, if you're more spiritually minded, this could represent um, an aha moment where you have a spiritual awakening about something and you, you're seeing things now maybe in a totally different light. Um, so there's something going on here and it's up to you, Aquarius, to make that call and figure out what's going on. Now right at the beginning of the week we have the knight of swords in the upright position this is air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon arising aquarius you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position you are on the right path with any um uh, perhaps communication that you would like to put out there the knight of swords is known for communication although be it rushed communication sometimes can be aggressive um, this could represent, uh, because knights usually bring in some kind of offer, so maybe it's you that wants to extend an offer, maybe it's a written offer, a verbal offer, maybe you want to put in an offer for a home or something like that, or a business, you're throwing your hat in the ring with something. Uh, the Knight of Swords can also represent somebody coming in quickly. You didn't even see them coming. This could be someone rushing into your life. It could be somebody with important information. Sometimes the Knight of Swords carries, uh, you know, important contracts or things like that that you have to sign, qu uh, you know, lickety split, as they say. This could be something that you need to sign really quickly. So for some of you, that's what it is. For others of you, there could be somebody new rushing into your life and boy, oh boy, Knight of Swords, you don't really see him coming. This is someone who is very talkative, maybe more on the mental, cerebral side. For others of you, this could be aggressive communication coming in from someone. Now, the next card up is the Strength card in the upright position. Take a deep breath, I say, when this card comes up. This is representing gentle strength that comes from within, and we may need to draw upon it. Now, it's not brute strength. This is never, ever um, going to, like, this kind of strength is never going to push you towards aggressive strength. Even though the Knight of Swords could be coming in with aggressive information or anything like that, take a deep breath. That's what I always say when this card comes up in and out deep breath and use your patience and discernment when it comes to the strength card this is your own gentle strength draw upon it and just let it go it could just be a passing moment where something is going on if it's coming at you in an aggressive way 
this could make sense. But even for others of you, if somebody's rushing into your life, it really, or even someone's making a sudden offer, you could be taken aback, a little bit overwhelmed. And so again, take a deep breath and be patient. Let it all unfold the way it needs to unfold. Moving on towards the weekend, we have some beautiful, peaceful energy here from the King of Cups in the upright position. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The King of Cups tends to be very gentle, but yet emotionally mature uh, type of personality. This person knows how to process emotions and is a great person to talk to about emotional matters. matters. Um, sometimes the King of Cups can come up as a caring doctor or a care. Like if this is representing surgery or something like that, maybe you're dealing with a doctor. A King of Cups could be a very caring, understanding doctor who can help you know, can like this person is compassionate and understanding, so they know what you're going through. They can help if you're having any kind of fears or things like that. It could be that they're helping you to process everything. It can be a, a counselor. This can be a very caring and understanding counselor as well, if you're speaking with a counselor. Or this could be a caring friend or family member who is always somebody that you can go to to talk to about emotional matters because you know that they are emotionally grounded and this person can always make you feel better. <laughs> Last card you have is the beautiful Ten of Cups in the upright position, which points to happy outcomes. This is emotionally, like feeling so good on the emotional front. It's like you're hitting almost like a high on it. You're high on emotion. <laughs> It could be due to the, the King of Cups for some of you. For others of you, this could be about a beautiful get-together. It's especially wonderful if you have something planned for this weekend and it's, it's concerning family or people who feel like family. It could be getting together for a family event such as, you know, a special anniversary or birthday or something like that. It could also represent going to a wedding or even just a family dinner. Maybe you're bringing, you're bringing family over and if that's the case, it looks like it will turn out very, very well for you. Uh, beautiful way to end the week for you here, Aquarius. I'm surprised we didn't get the world card. <laughs> you keep getting the world card, but not this week. But it looks like things are moving and changing up fast, very fast. You may need to take a deep breath because of the speed of everything. Um, somebody could be charging in or charging back because don't forget the judgment card is here. So this could be someone or news or information from the past that's coming in in lightning speed. So in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Angel Answers deck. So what do we have here for Aquarius? The situation will improve. Seems like a lot of signs are getting that card for some reason. The situation will improve. There's always improvement. So always room for improvement, right? So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And I want to thank you very much for joining me. And I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. Um, I also hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, subscribership is free after all. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.